On February 22nd, 2014, I hit the streets in Tempe, Arizona, a town of 160,000. Accompanying me were Zane, Jordan, and Kristoff. We spent our time on Mill Ave, right near the Arizona State University campus. A lot of good outreach was had, and a lot of love was given. So my buddy Zane just handed that Tempe police employee a card. This individual that initially had been flanked by these Tempe police employees is now, uh, looks like he's, he's doing all right, he's just chilling. So again, it's good. He seems like, obviously, maybe he wasn't completely sober tonight, but it's good he's not, his rights aren't being violated right now. Tempe Police, a uh, vehicle, Chevy. Yeah, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah. I've seen those motherfuckers really fucking. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we just gotta look out for each other. Yeah, really. That's yeah. tight. Thanks. For sure, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. Officer, do you know the reason that my fellow citizen is being detained, or are you just doing your job? Mr. Fink, have you thought about what's happened through history when people just do their job? Isn't that how tyranny starts? People just do their job? If there's no victim, there's no crime. It wouldn't be right for me to do that to somebody. If he didn't damage a person or their property, he shouldn't be getting kidnapped. He shouldn't be getting felt up. Like, I saw you guys on YouTube, right? as soon as I saw you guys, I was like, hell yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Good to meet you, Gabe. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? Uh, looks like they pulled over this car, maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, it has to be. You got the doors open, so I'm not sure what the offense was. He was he's been sitting on the curb since we walked up. It's great. I had to ask you, what's up with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a currency. It's a currency that's better than the dollar. It's better in terms of its exchange rate, it's better in terms of its fungibility, its ability to go across borders, its ability to uh, uh, bring people together and allow people who have never had a bank account to have a bank account on their own terms. Instead of relying on a government or, or relying on Ben Bernanke or whoever his next person is. You know? So you think there's a lot of potential, it sounds like, to help liberate people? I think it, there's infinite potential. I'm Kitten. My email is kttn at riseup.net. Contact me, everyone who sees this. How you doing? Are you guys all carrying? I can't speak for other people, but... I saw one of your guys over there. I saw a guy over there with a camera. I don't know if he was in the U.S. I saw he had a gun. Oh, okay. I don't know who's anybody. I mean... It's quite against the law. I, I can only answer for myself, and I'm just going to say, like, I don't think I have to tell a stranger what, what property I have on me or not. You know, safety. Right, I understand. Are you carrying $10? Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to proactively share information with a stranger who, you know, Claim sovereign immunity, you say you're, the uh, legitimacy that some people bestow upon you and your colleagues based on your attire says that you are not responsible for your actions when you're dressed that way, you know, if you're just following policy. And those are things that, that's why I'm out here, because of a, of a double standard that's perceived and sometimes allowed for. Well, we appreciate you guys are out here. Uh, I think you're a different group that's usually out here. Uh, okay, I'm not too sure. As the other group, We've had dialogue with the other group in the past, so I don't know if you guys are different, same, or... Well, hopefully there's a, folks across the globe doing this, you know, if they think it's necessary. Uh, we encourage you guys being out here. Um, there's probably very little, probably few cities around the valley that have this kind of police department. Very interactive, very much want to help, public serve. I was threatened earlier by one of your officers. C. Miller. Yeah. What was the threat? I asked a simple question of what my fellow citizen was being detained for. He threatened with interfering with the backbone of the district of the GPS. It's a simple question. I got threatened. I was made to understand the threat. If I didn't understand the threat, there's going to be future 
violence coming my way. It's just a little too much power. These are just costumes. They don't really grant you any more rights than him or me. And some of these officers, they will all think that way. And that's the big problem. That's why we're out here secure my yard. The biggest problem we have is when one officer is doing something wrong, let's say an officer is maybe punching someone in the face. Hopefully another officer would stand up and say, hey, stop doing that. The problem is it doesn't happen. They're just doing it watch it and they can join in. And that's the problem. And that's why we're here. We don't have extra rights just because of the past. Because we can realize it. We do get a lot of extra power and we gotta be responsible. You're not know, supposed to be given extra power. You should have any more power than anybody else. Just because you have a costume. See what you just said? You're in the wrong mindset. You don't have extra power. But you believe you do, and that's where the problem was. Okay, so it's uh, a monopoly you guys have. You're not really here to help you get some money. Who's going to pay your salary? You're not extorting it for people. Where's it going to come from? Yeah, where's it going to come from? I'm asking, where's it going to come from? That's where it comes from. It comes from extorting from the, your very own public that you're supposed to uh, be protecting. There's no victim, there's no crime. And that's the problem. That just earlier I witnessed someone with a fake ID trying to get into a bar. Oh my god, where's the victim? What did he victimize? Nobody. You guys have this paddy wagon that just shows up on scene to take people away. Kidnapping on scene. On scene kidnapping happening right here in Tempe. And you're like, haha, not all of us. What about Rodney King? That was okay? All those police got off. It's all those get police got off. off. Is that okay? That they could just keep beating someone up? And they got off and it's okay? So then, how could this not happen? Is the question. It sounds like somebody already in the van is not too happy. You missed it. They lost the first guy in there. The littler guy? Yeah, they fucking fucked him in there. That sucks. Did you record it? Yep. Nice. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> so it's vehicle 650 facing north on Mill at 5th. So if anybody gets harassed tonight, for making a no blinker turn. We can show this video and say, hey, why don't you take it yourself? Hey, well, off the cameras. This is about to be one of the episode of Cops. <laughs> Thompson, badge 912. Okay. He's racist. Okay. He's racist. He said racial remarks to me before. Okay. Twice. He actually got written up for that shit, and I had another officer pull him off of me because he I wow. literally was not uh, uh, resisting him and he literally tried to like swing me around and shit which I think is bullshit he also my freshman year three years ago uh, there was like 30 people around me and he was like boy and I'm like I'm like boy what do you mean boy I'm not I'm like okay he's like yeah boy I'm talking to you <laughs> The horse, what it and, and the fact that she seriously yeah. just told your officers to go and arrest a site that you have, you have means there's a quota. Like, why not go tell them to make sure no one's getting hurt? Why not go tell them to make sure everybody's safe? No, you specifically told them, go arrest peers. Go site peers. That makes it a quota. Don't come back unless you site someone. What did I say? What was the real thing I said? Go site at least two people. Two people, you said at least two. I heard you. I was standing right here. What was your exact words? I said, go catch some pistols. One each year. Okay, tell me how it's not a quota.